as, as you said, and we are at an unprecedented situation worldwide because of this pandemic. Um, it is a perfect time to ask some very basic questions about um, humanity in general and about the Peace Corps in particular. Um, from what I have seen here in Guatemala, the pandemic has revealed um, the vast differences between a small group of people who have a lot and the large majority who have very little. Um, it has also revealed in its stark nakedness the structural um, deficiencies of states like Guatemala, uh, where the economic disparities are tremendous, but also where the neglect of the large population for many, many years have caused the current uh, critical situation um, where for over 50 years people's basic needs like education and today it's obvious health have been um, not addressed. Um, I hopefully will come back to this at the end but the response in Guatemala has been to create hospitals and to um, augment the number of beds that can um, be occupied by people who are ill with the COVID-19. Um, I think that that looks like a great solution, but in a system where we don't have the basic access to um, minimal health care, this is not the solution. And I think that um, by addressing this particular need and by the Peace Corps focusing on the basic health need of rural communities, um, we can start focusing on the future. Uh, because when you need to go to a hospital to treat a, a minor illness that could be treated by a local um, health um, post, not even a, um, a, a, a clinic in, in, in the rural areas, I think we would be uh, serving the communities in a very different way. Um, something that I have been particularly focusing um, my work for the past uh, 12 plus years is migration. And uh, these structural deficiencies and this major differences in the country have provoked what to me is one of the most crucial issues of our times, forced displacement, forced migration, and um, asylum seeking. Um, the current situation is not making those things better. And even if borders today are closed, um, once they open, and we hope that will be sooner than later, um, people will be forced again to leave their homes. So again, what is the Peace Corps to do at a time like this? I think it is to go and work at the very basic community level in helping um, better these, these conditions that are making it impossible for people to stay at home and be with their family and prosper and be uh, healthy. Um, I don't think that that is a time to be shy about our common links and our um, historical connections. I think that 
Um, the same way that in the streets of the US and in other countries, but especially in the US, people are protesting racial inequality um, and people are coming to terms with um, our own privileges. Um, it is a time for the Peace Corps to realize that every volunteer who comes to a host country comes with great privilege. And it is um, to the betterment of everybody if we um, self-reflect on, on our position in, in these communities. I think that um, at the same time that we self-reflect on our role and our privileges um, and the privileges of, of volunteers, we should look at the historical um, ties between the host countries and the U.S. Um, there's, it, it is a time of many contradictions. Um, Guatemalan immigrants and immigrants from many other countries are today in the U.S working and consider in many instances um, essential workers. However, they also are risking being detained and deported. And they're also suffering the effects of the pandemia in larger numbers as are um, other minorities and more vulnerable populations in the US. So, I think that we must recognize this. We must recognize that the Peace Corps does not operate in a vacuum. It operates as part, um, as, as, as part of, a, of a larger um, government structure. And that, yes, it represents the best America can offer, but it also has to um, be very conscious of the current image of the US around the world because very unfortunate um, isolationist policies. So at the same time that we're reaching out to host countries and hopefully we will be receiving uh, many more Peace Corps volunteers in the future, um, they're not issuing visas for um, my country fellow men uh, to travel to the US. There is the threat of cutting visas even for exchange students who pay full tuition at U US universities, uh, let alone um, temporary workers who, who, who go pick up the, pick the, the, the crops in the fields of the US. So we must be conscious of these contradictions um, and we, must relearn the history between our countries. Um, one of the privileges that we um, should look at is the fact that as the pandemic was declared, um, Peace Corps volunteers were sent home. Fortunately, they were able to go home and are now with their families. However, this took them away from um, a place where they had committed to work and were people without that privilege, that, that choice had to remain in a, in a more vulnerable position. So definitely, it, I, to me, this is a time of um, meditation, of um, self-reflection, and uh, self-analysis and as hard as it might seem to look forward to the future with with hope um i wish everybody the best now and in the days to come